Welcome everybody to another Yo Chicago drive around. Uh, today Mark Boyer and I are going to drive north on Ashland Avenue starting at Taylor Street which we just passed and we're going to take it up to around uh, Irving Park or Lawrence. Uh, we're gonna be looking at new construction condominiums first off though we wanted to pass by here take a look at uh, construction going on at uh, the Rush University Medical Center over here we are in the medical district um, you can see here new facility looks like it's about one two three four five six stories high at the moment and still has quite a way to go Oh yeah, the elevator shaft is yeah. pretty high up there. Uh, you can see here, maybe I can zoom in, it looks like they have a uh, rendering of what the building eventually will look like. So here, here coming up on Monroe, we've got some newer construction to mm -hmm. the left here. Um, some lofts. Yeah. I think it's like a lot of empty retail space at the moment. Looks like a Staples maybe. Looks like it was Moved a Staples. Out. Yeah. yeah. And a bunch of churches here too. There's the uh, Christ Temple, Apostolic Church. Um, the big one in, in front of us, I was reading online, is an older Baptist church. It was built in the 1860s. been in it but it's very very cool looking on the outside and then as we get up here to Madison um, over on the right hand side of the street uh, very quickly we'll be able to see uh, Union Park which is a uh, nice large park up here uh, actually bordered by it looks like Warren Boulevard Ogden over on the east. Um, turn around here so you can see out. Uh, Union Park dates back to the 1850s. Has auditoriums, a fitness center, a gym, meeting rooms, a spray pool, a swimming pool, and tennis courts. Uh, looks like some folks are out today playing some softball. Big outdoor swimming pool they've got there. Pass that right now. It's the site of the Pitchfork. That's where uh, Pitchfork first. Music Festival is every summer. And there was Rib Fest this past weekend. Was that this weekend? I think so. All right. A lot of Ashland is a boulevard style street. See uh, um, trees lining the median and uh, some other landscaping. Most of the way. Yeah. So now we're entering West Town proper. That's right. It really isn't until we get up to uh, Chicago Avenue that we start seeing new construction along Ashland. Um, there's really only one way to describe new construction on Ashland, and that would be six flat, six flat, six flat. Uh, there are a few exceptions here and there. We'll see a three flat. We'll see a unit with or a building with five units. I believe one with seven. But for the most part, it looks like the uh, new construction options on this street are six unit buildings. Uh, with a lot of two and three bedroom homes. So there's the intersection of Ashland and Chicago. I'm gonna turn around here. And uh, this is a place that's now being billed as uh, the Sky Villas. It is 815 North Ashland. There is one three bedroom, two bath located here, priced in the 530s. It's a six unit building. Um, there may actually there may actually be more for sale than just that one. That's the only one that's listed. You can see here that uh, North Clyburn ha Group has uh, one of their sale pending signs out on one of the balconies. Looks like that's the only balcony that has one. This one's kind of impressive because 
it's flown under the weight radar for us at least a little bit because I only noticed that this one hit the MLS in I, I think early spring and uh, since then I mean considering that only one is listed I would assume they've, they've had a few sales at least yeah it's possible the, you can see here that they're uh, looks like one two retail three retail spaces here uh, none of which seem to be occupied at the moment and then uh, the other place that we're going to look at is just practically across the street. Um, it's actually right across from the intersection of Ashland and Fry Street. This is 830 North Ashland. Uh, this is being marketed, or at least uh, one home here is being marketed by Prudential Preferred Properties. You can see a sign up there, one of the uh, top units. Tell just just from the satellite dishes, they got five satellite dishes. Well, and and there. as we said earlier, six flat, six flat, six flat. Here's another one. Uh, the one unit that they have here is a two bedroom, two bath with 1,300 square feet. Um, it's priced in the 470s. It looks like uh, one of the three retail spaces that they have there is occupied by MH Design.